Hi and welcome! My name is Lynn and today I'll be crafting with the new release from Paper Sweeties. This stamp set is um, really awesome. It's got some pretty cool words on here that I don't often see. Um, in particular, Boss Girl. I really love. Um, you will have seen that in my um, post yesterday. Unfortunately, I lost the video footage for it, so I don't have a process video of me making that card. But um, but I just think it's it's so it's such a fun sentiment that you don't often see, and I love that it's um, all of these are separate words. So you can mix and match them with previous Sweet Minis uh, stamp releases that have the same, I think it's the farmhouse font that um, Debbie uses or how she refers to this font. And it's, um, it's nice that she continues to kind of release more in the same font set because that just gives new life and... Um, versatility to our previous sets too. And in some of the previous sets, we got individual letters as well. So, um, so that's really nice too, because when, once you've, um, you know, gotten a few of these, you can really start to create, uh, more words and, uh, combine them with, um, the word stamps here as well. So I am going to uh, build up a couple of gnomes here. This is from the original build a gnome and we did get a um, in the first quarter sweet kit, which I think now that the kit is sold out, you can actually get the um, the stamp and uh, die set that came uh, or the stamp set that came with it and the uh, matching coordinating dies that go with it. It's the uh, gnome add-on winter. So, um, so if you have the two, you can really, you know, start to mix and match your uh, gnome and um, the hat that he's wearing and the things that he or she can hold. Now, when I make the female gnome, what I like to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I like to um, turn the uh, beard upside down to create a chin, a uh, little bit of a face for my female gnome. And, um, and I'm just die cutting the nose, the hands, the, the beard slash face and the, uh, braids out of, um, just some solid color cardstock. It's actually, it's actually, um, skin tone, construction paper. So it's not, it's not cardstock, like nice quality cardstock. It is actually a pack of, um, different, I think there's five or maybe six different shades of skin tone. I think it's, it's meant for teachers to use in the classroom, but I like that there is a variety of different, uh, skin tones in it. So, uh, for building up characters, it's really nice to have that to die cut from. And that way I don't have to do any uh, coloring to uh, to create the skin tone. And in fact, all of my um, uh, pieces for my gnomes uh, that I'm using on this card today are stamped and die cut out of either solid color cardstock or a pattern paper that also came from the first quarter sweet kit. And I thought it would be cute to have our gnomes holding up the two words, thank you. It's such a great scale because uh, <laughs> the, the words are so tall. They basically are the entire uh, height of the body <laughs> of the gnome. So, um, so you just, I, I love the, the scale of it and it just looks really adorable and kind of comical because, because the sign is so large relative to the size of the gnome. But, um, but it's uh, kind of cool that, you know, you can have your gnomes kind of stretch their arms out, you know, kind of wide. So I think they can just about hold any, any of these, um, words. And if, if you want to build up a phrase that is really long, um, for example, I, I think there's a home sweet home sweet minis that has the word home that you can spell out so if you want it to do something like welcome home 
you could stamp it out on one piece of uh, white cardstock to, to create one really wide banner and then have your gnomes holding it um, one on each side. So one gnome would be holding it from the W end of the banner and the second gnome could hold it from uh, the end of the word home. And so you can make it seem like the two gnomes are holding up the one banner uh, together. So um, so that's always an option, too, if you want to build up a longer phrase and still have uh, the idea of the gnomes kind of holding up the banner. But I thought since these words are, are rather uh, short, that they can each kind of hold their own um, word. And I just think it's really, um, really cute that you can really put anything <laughs> into these uh the hands of these gnomes so definitely you know look at uh maybe some of the previous sweet minis kits because um a lot of them have really cute images that you can use um to put into your to have your gnome hold onto and so I I do like to attach the hands to the sign first that way like I mentioned I can preview it but I gave the um the banner words a little bit of curvature and I used my 3d kalau glue in the center like a nice generous blob of it so that it holds it holds that curvature so that you can't um like push in on that once it's completely dried I hope you liked my card today, and if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you want to catch new videos as I post them, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing the notification bell. Thanks so much!